right. Um, I've got this very expensive uh, Bowers and Wilkins CM1 speaker that I found at Goodwill for like seven bucks. Unfortunately, it had a dented tweeter, and it still works and it still sounds perfectly fine. But obviously, that that kind of bothers me. Sorry, I was grabbing some tools. So anyway, I'm, I'm about to attempt to replace it. I don't know how to do this. I've never seen anyone do it. But, uh, you know, I, I couldn't find a video of this on the internet, so I figured I would film myself doing it in case anyone ever needs help. So. Uh, yeah, so, so I ordered a replacement tweeter on eBay, and it just arrived literally like 10 minutes ago and it, it looks like it's in pretty good shape so and again this is not something you have to do right this tweeter still works perfectly fine so you know at your own risk if you're happy with the sound of it then obviously do not attempt this but in my case i'm happy with the sound of it but i still don't like the fact that it's dented just because I'm a little particular about that kind of stuff. So first thing you need is to find the right, uh, these, these are hex. That feels a little loose. So that means we probably need to be in metric. It's too big. You know, so just trial and error for this first part. Here we go. Oh, that fits nice and snug. And so, you know, and again, I don't, I don't really know how to do this, right? So. You guys might see me do something that I'm not supposed to do, and then I'll have to undo it. But I, you know, like, I guess there's a possibility that you access the tweeter from the back, but this looks right to me so far. All right, one screw out, working on the second one, and go to the diagonal one, I think that's proper form, and they're coming out nice and easy, you know, Bowers and Wilkins is a really high-end audio brand, so it doesn't surprise me that, that this is very easy to take apart, um, that's when something's actually engineered right, it's, it usually is. Working on the third screw. One more and then we'll see what's inside. There's a chance that, you know, whatever's inside of here is really scary and I decide not to risk it. But... We'll cross that bridge when we get there. I remember my dad used to replace his tweeters, though. Like, uh, I, I think he would just play the music so, so loud that they would blow themselves out. And he would replace them. So, I know this is doable. Now what? I think I need something to pry it with. my experience, you don't want to start prying necessarily, so let's see. I don't know what else to do. So, just very gently attempt to see if we can get this piece out of here. Hmm.
Okay, okay. So you stick a, a screwdriver in the hole and then just very gently kind of pry it out. Okay? Don't, definitely don't overdo this. Okay, I'm, since I already did that side, I'm going to kind of go over this side and over this side and over this side. So I know you guys can't see this, but I see now that it's connected by two wires, obviously a red one and a black one. So I'm attempting to disconnect those. got the red one, but the black one does not want to come. Alright, so now you can see the two wires, right? And so, I wouldn't be too worried about mixing up which is which, because, you know, you can kind of see it only goes in one way, so this will be very obvious. Uh, okay, so now, what I see here is that the the tweeter is being held in, and you can see there's the dent. It's being held in by this plastic piece, right? So the logical thing is to remove that. See, I was a little afraid that I would open this and there would be more than, than just these two wires, right? That would scare me because I wouldn't really know what they did. Two wires, two wires we can handle. Here we go. One piece of advice in general is that you always want to use the right screwdriver for the job. Right? Just don't be lazy about it. Just you know, if, if something's sliding, just go grab a new screwdriver. set up like a little stand here, shouldn't I? Uh, confused, all right. Hold on, yeah, let me do this correctly. <laughs> <clears throat> kind of gross but I went to grab these two peanut butter lids all right so this is out now you, you heard it falling but it's just a little plastic piece so I think it's all right now that's just to protect the tweeter okay don't use peanut butter lids that's that's not the correct tool for this job oh interesting okay so the the leads on, on this are actually color-coded, so I know which one the positive and which one the negative one is, assuming that's, that's right. So does this just lift out? How does this work? Oh. I'm seeing if there's any like marks or anything that lets me know what the correct way to this thing is. It looks like 
looks to me. Hmm. What's a little bit confusing to me is that the one that's marked red, I can already see, is going to connect to the wrong terminal. Wait a minute, no. Never mind, never mind, I'm wrong about that. Okay, okay. You know, I don't think it really matters how this goes because it looks pretty symmetrical to me. Okay. Now, putting the plastic screws back in. Oh, shit. I'm a little bit nervous. Honestly, like, I would not be able to afford these speakers, so the fact that I found them at Goodwill, you know, is just like a really nice surprise. And if I break this right now, then who knows how long it'll be before I can afford, you know, such a nice set of speakers. So, so I really don't want to mess this up. But it also, you know, wouldn't be the end of the world. I live in an apartment anyway. I mean, it's not like I can crank these. future maybe, you know, maybe I'll have like a little nook where I can, can kind of listen to my tunes in peace. That's the dream. Like with anything, you know, you want to tighten them, but you don't want them too tight, obviously. Alright. <clears throat> I think we just about got her. I think I actually was able to do this, so now I'm reconnecting the wires. Okay, red one is connected. Black one is connected, and I'm pushing it back in. I've noticed there's a little resistance on the way in and out. I don't. I have no idea what's causing that, but just trust your gut. Don't push too hard. see it, it's coming out like I said there's like something pushing back on it kind of weird already slipped like twice. You do not want to slip at this stage, okay? <laughs> Luckily I have not dented my new tweeter yet. But... Sorry, my hair is drying. I gotta give it a little shake so it goes where I needed to go. There's also a chance that I plug this in and it doesn't work, and 
I don't know. You know, it's just a risk I decided to take. So. But I, I would be disappointed because, like I said, it, it it seemed to be working perfectly fine before. And it just, you know, it just it it bothered me that it was like this. You know, I'm. I don't want to say OCD, but just knowing it was dented, you know, knowing that I wasn't sure if it sounded like it was supposed to sound, bothered me. I'm sure it has some effect on the sound, right? How could a dented tweet or not? I don't think it's like the most important thing in the world, but it must matter. Because they go through such lengths to make them perfectly round. So the newer version of the speaker actually has like a like a little guard. I've seen pictures of it that protects the tweeter, but the version I have does not have such a guard. So that's in general. I think that if you buy really nice speakers, you know, or I guess if you make really nice speakers, you should ensure that they have guards because. You know, imagine if you have a kid, they come, they, they just poke their finger into it, you know, tweeter spins in. I'm tightening these. I don't really know how tight to make them. I'm gonna call it good right there. Yeah, that's not... I'm gonna go put the, the lids back on my peanut butter. <clears throat> All right, that looks pretty good. Let's see if it works. If it works, I'm going to take it back down and clean it because I'm seeing now that it's a little smudgy. We live in a very humid climate, so it doesn't surprise me. Oh, shit. I'm saying oh, shit, because I don't remember which is the positive and which is the negative. I'm using my own speaker wire, so you know, it's not it's not obvious. It, it was a choice I made when I installed it. I see it so yeah looks like I made the choice that I thought I would have made which is to make the the wire with the black marking the negative you know that's the thing I don't remember the mood I was in when I set these up because sometimes you're just like ah fuck it it doesn't matter switch them then For this, it does matter.
that should do it. Let's put it back. Oof. Alright, let's see. So now, I believe that I just have a, um, so now you can see that I have Powers and Wilkins tweeter fixed, and then the other speaker, the tweeter on this one was fine to begin with, so I think that if this now works, then we are done. So here's the auxiliary cable, I'm plugging it into my phone. 